Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In my previous video, I have explained you how what is the basics in the assembly constraint. Please go and check it out. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, uh, some other uh, constraint uh, commands in the assembly constraints. So, uh, in order to do, do that, I'll just open the same uh, assembly. You can see here this assembly. Okay, so I'll just uh, move this command let me move here and now we have is this bolt let us move this bolt okay so now these two components are moved in some uh, other locations so i'll just go to assembly and uh, in the previous uh, video i have explained you uh, some degrees of freedom basics of um, constraints so this is already explained so next we have now in uh, assembly constraint we have is uh, concentric so as the name suggests you need to select uh, concentric curves so that uh, it will be restricted so you can see here this is the one curve uh, which I am going to con make a concentric with this you can see here uh, these two will be made as a concentric and you can click ok this is how it works guys uh, if you want to check the degrees of freedom so you can directly go here and uh, you can see uh, the degrees of freedom as you can see here uh, there are three rotational and uh, three uh, degrees of freedom are restricted so uh, this is how this uh, concentric works so next we have is uh, let us make control z next we have next we have is uh, distance so you can give some distance between uh, some faces to any edge suppose for example with this face if you want to make this center as a 50 mm so you can directly go to distance and uh, select this face and from this face to this uh, uh, concentric uh, line is around uh, make it as a 50 and uh, click enter so it will make a distance uh, as you can see here uh, the face between this face to this face is uh, 50 mm and you can click ok and there will be a constraint which is a dollar so this is how this uh, uh, you now distance uh, works guys so now uh, next we have is let us delete this constraint and okay now we have fix fix is already explained to you guys uh, this is just uh, restrict all the degrees of freedom of the any component so after that we have uh, some parallel so in order to explain the parallel i'm just uh, taking an example of uh, okay so for example what i will do is i'll just uh, tilt this uh, in order to explain this and maybe you can see here along this face and this face there is some angle between this face as well as this top of the face so what i will do is i will just make this parallel these two parallel so you can go to assembly constraint and you can select the parallel here and you can select this face and this face as soon as you select you can see here uh, this component has become parallel to this so this is how this uh, parallel works guys and uh, in the same way the perpendicular as well so i'll just uh, delete this constraint and i'll show you how the parallel constraint works now so i'm going to select the same two faces this is the first face and this is the second face so as soon as you select you can see here these two faces will become uh, perpendicular to each other and if you click OK, this constraint will be generated. So now what I will do is I will just uh, delete this constraint. Okay. Uh, we have uh, here is uh, I think align and lock. So okay, uh, this is a very useful command, guys. When you are uh, making an uh, uh, you know um, 
when you are restricting uh, any of the bolt so which is on a cylindrical uh, cylindrical shape so you can see here um, this is a cylindrical suppose for example if you do uh, in, uh, Allah, sorry in lock like this so in, by using the uh, access to access so if you, you will select this axis and uh, this axis so what happens you know uh, only some of the degrees of freedom will be locked so i think there is no degrees of freedom is locked in all the directions it can be movable because this is not fixed so let us fix this so once you fix this now just check with this so as you can see here uh, now only there are one rotational and one translation degrees of freedom is uh, active so what are those degrees of freedom so rotational along the rotational and uh, this along the uh, z-axis uh, translation so how you can restrict the translation is you can just give the touch between this face and this face so I'll just do that so what I'll do is I'll just go to touch and I'll just uh, make this face should touch on this face so as soon as you view this you can see uh, now we'll check the degrees of freedom once again I think now we have only one degrees of freedom uh, that is the rotational you can see this is the there is a rotational along this uh, z-axis in case suppose you have this slot in a circle manner not able to restrict this circle because there is no face to select and give perpendicularity or uh, parallelism for uh, this bolt in that case what you have to do is uh, how you can restrict the rotation along the z-axis so there is a one way where you can uh, restrict that so what we have to do is for that we have to use align lock so as you can see here this is the align lock and uh, very useful when you are uh, uh, constraining uh, bolts or any nuts or any washer so align lock what it will do is it will just align these two concentric so suppose for example this it will make as this as a concentric as well as this will not allow you to rotate the component so for example if you see now the align is given uh, suppose for example if you want to check this degrees of freedom just go to show degrees of freedom uh, sorry guys let us uh, you know let us fix this in component okay so now you check uh, what is the degrees of freedom you can see only translation is there the rotation is not showing previously when you do uh, you know axis to axis uh, align when you do an axis to axis align uh, the axis will be uh, aligned but the rotation will always be existing but when you do align and lock uh, what happens is it will also restrict the uh, rotation of this component along the axis so this is very helpful now if you do uh, like this and then uh, you can go to touch and uh, restrict the other rotation as well so if you do like this now this com this is completely constrained if you can check you can directly go to show degrees of freedom as you can see here there are no degrees of freedom existing so this is how this uh, align lock works guys uh, so next in the assembly constraint uh, we have is uh, fit option so fit option what it will do is it will just uh, uh, select the spherical uh, cylinder so you need to select this spherical cylinder and the same radius spher uh, spherical cylinder on the other uh, component so if you select those two components uh, it will directly go and fit it here fit it there so now we have this is the circle uh, now we have uh, this is as a spherical there is a one more here but since this is not this those two are not a similar radius so it will not fit so as you can see here the red uh, constraint will be shown so it will not fit so suppose for example if we have the similar kind of uh, hole here a similar radius of hole so then it will completely fit on this component so this is how that is how this uh, fit command works but this is completely uh, you know not agreeable in order to uh, use this command which uh, the companies will not allow you to 
use that uh, fit command so now we have is the bond and then uh, center and then we have align so this i'm going to explain you in the next video guys uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you guys